Thanks for watching TechWiki. Click the subscribe button, then enable notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos. So mobile internet sure has come a long way since the days of downloading sick ringtones to our flip phones. But using a browser on the latest smartphone still presents some challenges. Clunky advertisements that take up the whole screen right as you're about to scroll down, poor responsiveness caused by too much page clutter, and spotty connections in some areas that can all be incredibly frustrating. And all of these issues were the inspiration for Google's AMP project, something you've probably taken advantage of without even realizing it. You see, whenever you run a Google search on a mobile device, you might notice a small lightning bolt icon beside a given search result to let you know that if you click on it, you'll be served an AMP version of that page. Now, this page won't come to you directly from the site you're trying to view. Instead, after the administrator of the site creates an AMP version of the page, it will be automatically pushed to a CDN or content delivery network owned by Google or Cloudflare. These AMP caches then push the page to your phone with the goal of improving loading times. But this isn't the only difference between an AMP and a regular page. If one of your favorite sites often takes a long time to load, the culprit may not be a server with a slow connection. Instead, there might be complicated HTML elements that take a long time for your browser to render, poorly written CSS that makes the page look like a mess, or scripts that ask for more resources than your device can easily deal with. So, instead of allowing website owners to design their pages however they want, AMP uses its own customized and stripped down versions of HTML and JavaScript. These prevent the implementation of layouts that are slow, clunky, or disruptive to the user, like the dreadful full screen ads I mentioned before. In fact, one of AMP's built in restrictions is that ads can only take up a certain amount of space on the screen. You'll still see them, of course, but an AMP page should mostly be the actual content you want to see, rather than the scammers screaming at you about a fat busting juice cleanse. And AMP is also smart enough to judge the relative importance of each element of the web page. So if you're trying to read an article about the latest big scandal, it'll try to load things like the article text and an unflattering picture of your local politician before, say, an ad that you won't see until you scroll to the end of the page. Combine all this with limiting other resource hogging effects like animations, and AMP ends up doing a pretty decent job of making the mobile browsing experience less rage-inspiring overall. Now, it does have its limitations. The restrictions on page elements and style mean that it works best for news articles consisting of mostly text and a few still images, rather than highly interactive websites more suited to a desktop browser. But if you are doing lots of your browsing on mobile, see if you notice a difference the next time you load up an AMP page. After all, this new world of constant connectivity has gotten us all amped up on instant gratification, so if it can be slightly more instant, so much the better, right? Are you interested in computer science? Then check out Brilliant, a problem-solving website that teaches you to think like a computer scientist. Instead of passively listening to lectures, you get to master concepts by solving fun and challenging problems, and Brilliant provides the tools and framework you need to tackle these challenges. Brilliant's thought-provoking content, based around breaking up complexities into bite-sized, understandable chunks, will lead you from curiosity to mastery. And you'll be in the company of over 5.5 million members who share your curiosity and love for math and science. So what are you waiting for? You can support TechWiki and learn more about Brilliant by clicking the link down in the video description or going to brilliant.org slash tips and signing up for free. The first 200 people to go to the link will get 20% off an annual premium subscription, so be sure to check it out. Okay guys, thanks for watching TechWiki. Like, dislike, check out our other channels, leave a comment down below with your suggestions for future videos, and don't forget to subscribe.